G'day everyone, welcome to another episode of Aussie Garage. Today's episode is proudly sponsored by Optics Nano Technologies by AutoFX WA. Optics is a 100% Australian owned and operated company and they can supply you with all your ceramic coating and car care needs. Optics is uh, West Australian based, however they will ship Australia wide and also overseas. Also if you jump online, any purchase over $10, make sure you use the code ozg free gift and you'll get a free gift from optics so whether you're like us and you've got muscle cars or you've got a street machine or you've got a daily drive or you've got a sports car optics have got you covered they're going to keep you looking nice and shiny so everyone will notice you out on the road and once again big thanks for optics nanotechnologies by auto effects for sponsoring our Aussie garage so let's get stuck into this week's episode awesome let's do it all right, Yanni, let's have a look through some of your other things you've got around here. Okay. So, this one you said you built with your son? Yeah, my son and I built this. It was about a five-year project. This one was a long time problem. We had time together. We just get in there and do it. Yep, awesome. Um, it's a 77 HX, factory 308 four-speed. Beautiful. Um, I've had to put another cab on it because the other cab was that badly rusty. Yeah. Had the yep. old um, one-ton front, you know, the old... Oh, the old commercial front? Commercial front. front. So, yeah. you know, put state, this front on it, the prem front. Took the got rid of the four speed and put an auto in it. Um, if you'd seen the photos of this when we got it, it was um, people were like, You're not gonna, what are you gonna dump it, get yeah. into the tip sort of thing, you know what I mean? I said, Nah, yeah. so um, of course, you know, you can buy guards, you can buy doors, you can buy yep. everything for them, so yep. cabs, and so yeah, no, we brought it. If you and if you tip it upside down, the underneath's exactly the same as this, it's all painted up underneath, yep. nice. Um, but like so I said, you had cab off and everything, cab then. off, either yeah. there wasn't not one nut, not one screw in the whole car, yeah, once we pulled it apart, you know, it was as bare as they come yeah um yeah painted underneath first really nice did all the chassis then dropped the cab on and then started doing the rest around it you know yeah um oh beauty so young fella obviously loves it. it loves this thing yeah, yeah. yeah he loves it he drives it mm, probably twice a month takes it out and here and there you know when he's going out for a little run but um yep. yeah like i say no, it's, it's good he can drive it whenever he wants nothing you know? better than your old man saying let's go do this yeah you know, like, and building something like this this is awesome yeah yeah, yeah. no he likes it so no oh, excellent mate and what have we got over here? Okay, this is a 77 Mini Moak, yep. little ute. Uh, 1275, board to 1330. Yep. Uh, disc brakes, 13 by seven wheels. Um, nice, the Mac Dog on the front. Mac dog. Yeah. I just, look, this is why I've got it. It's got shaker. the board, board <laughs> shaker, you know, and the Mac Dog. Yep. Um, so yeah. just a bit of fun, this one? Get a bit of fun. Oh, this is great fun to drive. This is fast. This is good. Yeah, okay. So what, where, what kind of places do you take it? Do you get out on the beach or anything like that? I don't go on it... the beach, but I just go anywhere. anywhere. Yeah. I, I mainly use this for my parts car. Okay. Like yeah. if I've got to scoot up the Subaru, if I need bits and pieces or parts, I just yep. go take this, chuck them in the back, and yep. it's a good little runaround. Oh, beauty. Good so little... have you fabricated this roof section nah, and all the rest of it? or is this... I haven't touched it. This oh, so you, this it. is just how you got it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yep. This is how I brought it. So. Yeah, nice. Yeah, they've got a got a, a weird following the little mokes though. Yeah, they? you know. <laughs> yeah, I love them. I yeah. love them. Good cars. Yeah, good cars. No, oh, excellent. Now, over here. Yes. Man, this thing caught my eye as soon as I got in here, man. Yeah, like, gets everybody. Yeah. Like, wow. Check this thing out, man. Yeah. Ford Coupe. So, 1947. Ford 47. Business Coupe. Yep. Uh, faded V8. Yep. I guess three-speed manual. Yep. So all original still all then. 100% original. Yeah, correct. 100% original. Except yep. for the wheels. Yep. So, um, awesome. And you were saying you just came across this in some in your mate's backyard I or something. A guy you worked out, with, or yeah, guy I worked with. I he had a uh, collection, and um, I said I want to come down and have a look at your cars. Yep. And he had that there, so I said I ended up we ended up doing a deal. I ended up buying that in the twenty eight road store. Okay. And I, you know, I didn't go there to buy a car, but ended up buying with, two. With two, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a typical. Uh, Day out with some explaining to do to the wife at the end of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she wants me to keep it. Oh, I've got it up for sale, but she wants me yeah. to keep it. Oh, um, mate, I'd keep it too. I'd like to tub it and put those big wheels I've got on the other side on it. Yeah, and yep. Uh, it'd be a yeah nice to put. It's not. I just clear coat it, rub yep. it back, clear coat it, leave yep. it as it is. You know. Yeah. So you want to keep the flat end in it, or were you thinking, or you're not, you're in two not, minds about that one? If um, left, it, if I left it like this, left hand drive and all the rest of the stuff, just leave the flat end in it. Yeah. Um, it, like I say, it runs, it drives. Oh, I haven't driven it yet, but it will drive. Yep. Um, I don't know. I might get it licensed or get it on the road the way it is yep. if I've still, if no one buys it, yep. and um, and see how I go. Otherwise, if I get time and I finish my other projects and I've still got it, well then I might hot rod it. Yeah, nice. Then I'll like I say modern motor in it tub it yeah put the big wheels on it nine inch under the rear 
Yep. Right hand drive, obviously I have to go right hand drive if I do that. Yep. Um, uh, yeah. Well, it, mate, what a solid platform to start with. Absolutely. Um, and all the you, chrome you is mint. Yeah. So it's just got CRC all over it. Yeah, just which, to preserve which it. Which yeah. he kept spraying on it over the years, the guy I got it from. Yep. Just to protect it. So yeah. It just what a legend. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what a legend. Yeah. yeah. Looking after it. But looking around it, there's no rust. Just like, inside the doors, like I showed you, there's those two little spots like that, yeah. and that's it. That's the only yeah. rust. Underneath is perfect. Yeah. It's got all new brake lines run underneath there, so they are obviously, you know, in the last 10 years, I don't even know, yeah. they've all been done, so. Yeah. It was actually imported in 2012. Oh, so, right, okay, so it hasn't been in Australia no, that long. No, okay. now all I right. think about it, I just got the import papers. Yep. Uh, 2012, it was imported into Australia, so. Do you know what state it came from out of the states? I don't. Yeah. No. Because it might have been a nice dry state with no rust. I'd so, say so. Yeah. It must have been out in the middle somewhere. Yeah. For the condition of it, it had to have been, I would think, so. Yeah. 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 No, ah, awesome, man. Well, look, again, another one that I can't wait to see if you what you do with it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so that'll be awesome. Yeah. All right, and I believe you've got another one yeah, hiding up. I've got the, a 28 up the back there. All right, well, no. let's go up and all have right. a quick sticky at that. No worries. All right, mate, what a beast. Yeah, it's a um, 1928 Model yep. A Roadster, I guess. Yep. Um, 318, 727 Torque. Talk flight, yeah, talk flight, flight gearbox yeah. transmission, yeah. yeah, pretty typical behind the old Valiant. Yeah, yeah Rod Tech front end. Yep. Um, so you're saying one of the old school rodders around here built the chassis up? Yeah, as far as I know, it was I think it was either Hank Robinson or Trevor Breezy. One, okay. one of those two. Yep. Their names come up when I brought the car. So, okay. um, so were they Perth based guys? Yeah, yeah. Perth, yeah. yeah awesome. Hank was in Rockingham, I know that. Yep. And I think that Trevor Breezy's over near Wellard somewhere or I haven't heard okay. nothing. I know he was a hot rider or something, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, built the chassis in that for it. They'll yep. know if they, yeah, I don't know a whole lot. I'm just going by what I was told. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's, this is how I brought it. It runs. I've got to get it uh, caught, get the wiring done on it. Yep. Um, but yeah, it actually runs. I've got it for sale again, but uh, again, if I don't sell it, I don't care. I'll, I'll yeah. do it. Eventually yeah. I'll get around to doing them up, so. Well, well, this thing is just potential, potential, potential. I just, absolutely. if this was in my shed, I would just be thinking, what can I tinker on this thing yep. next? What can I do? I mean, I love the pipes on it, and they've even got the side pipes going right back to the Harley fishtail that's it, back yeah. end on the pipes. So that's really creative and yeah. hot roddy, you know. Like. I've got to get some block, some blanking plates for here. Yep. But I'll get them and, and get some turnouts so you can open them if you want to open yeah, them. Not right, that yeah. you will, but you can. It's a very cool feature <laughs> of these old rods, being able to open them up and let them, let them roar, you know? Yeah. 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 I've got all brand new uh, teardrop tail lights for it. And yep. All the switches are inside, all the ignition, everything brand new for it to yep. go on it. Um, again, it's getting it time, dropping it off an electrician and saying, here, wire this up. Yeah, I, yeah. I wanted to do it soon, actually, so I can actually even just drive around the property, you know. Yep. Um, it just, yeah, make it easier for moving yeah. it around. I've got my own tilt tray, but it's just easier for them. And then, again, do that sort of stuff, and then it'll push me to get it done quick, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's um, cool. Yeah, once you get excited about things, generally they, they roll on, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And these headlight buckets, I don't know what they're off, but they are know. awesome, hey? They're pretty cool. Yeah, just got that aerodynamic style. It makes a good little rat rod, this, you know, I, I reckon. Yeah, it would. Like I was saying, I've just trimmed one of these last year, and um, when they're together, they look fantastic. Yeah. yeah. I'd yeah. take the roof off. The roof's just sitting there, but I'd take yeah. that off. I don't like the roof on it. Yep. Um, I think it'd look better as a roadster, you know what I mean? Plus yeah. more room for the big people. To yeah. get in and out now with the roof on, they're so tiny, you know. They are. But when pretty the roof's tight. off, you can climb in and out easy. It's yeah. easy. So. Uh, they are pretty tight. Working inside one of these things ain't fun <laughs> when you're inside of it. Oh, I've yeah, so the floors. But again, it's it's easy. It's nothing. Yeah. yeah. Bit of steel. So the chassis and everything still looks pretty raw here. So it's obviously yep. just a, a still in a, a raw sense of the build. Absolutely. Stage. Yeah. It's, um, it hasn't had its first or second inspection yet, but yep. it's it's all I've got to do is get it the wiring done, have it running. Yep. Um, and the brakes done. The all brake lines are run brand new. It just the brake boost is there. It just needs to be connected to the brake booster. Yep. Uh, then I can go and have the first and second inspection done on it, and then after that, it's finish it off and get it licensed. Yep. So. Ah, excellent. It, man. It, it's not. There's nothing to them. It's nothing to them. Like I say, all the hard work's done. The, the tail shafts in. The brake lines are run. Yep. It just needs finishing off. Someone yep. to finish it. You know. It just needs to uh, come apart again. Paint the chassis and yes, all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, awesome, mate. Well, so this is the last one, I think, is it? Oh, I've got another XY in the shed, that's all. All right. Oh, okay. Well, let's go down and have a look at that one. <laughs> so this is where all the 
all the good stuff happens. This is where the cars obviously come in when you're working on them. Transformation happens in here. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. No, awesome. You've got a good space in here. And so you've built your own spray booth there as I well. I've built my own spray booth, yeah. For, yep. um, I built that for my bump side, just just for my bump side. Okay. And I haven't got to it yet. I've painted about 10 cars in there so far. Yeah, nice. And um, yeah, so I do the work on this side and paint them in that side. And yep. If I'm not painting, like Baxi lives in there, you shut the door, it's it's sealed, yep. so I can grind and stuff out here. And yeah, you're not going to get any. No, nothing stuff goes in glass there. So. Paint. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. pretty good. And this is obviously the next XY you're working yes, on. This, this is the next XY. This is um, going to be yellow glow, mm -hmm. and uh, I've got just at the back there 393 stroker for it. Yep. C4. Yep. Nine inch. Yep. Which come with it. Power steering. Every single part you can possibly get for the inside of this is brand new. I've got inside brand yep. spanking new. Nice. I mean, dash, every screw, everything for instance. So this whole entire, this car will be brand spanking new. Yep. Uh, I've got brand new five-slotters, five which are in, inside the house as well. Um, so, yeah. so bar the engine being stroked, it's pretty much going to be an original build? Yep, just yep. an original. Yellow, the black lines and black yep. stripes. and Five-slotters, everything. Five-slotters, yep, the whole yep. lot. Yep. It's all going to be, yeah, XY, all XY interior, everything, yep. you know, GT dash. Yep. Um, yeah, nine inch. So this, will, yeah, normal. But like I say, because this is a good car, I wouldn't wreck it, you know. But, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, and um, we haven't touched on this yet, but you've got your own YouTube channel. I have. Yeah, yes. Yanni's Garage. Yanni's Garage. Yeah. Yep. So how much of this stuff do you put up on there? Can people follow you on there? Yeah, absolutely. They yeah. Can follow me. Yeah, if they don't mind. Yeah, be great. <laughs> yeah. No, awesome. Get on to Yanni's Garage, mate, because he's yeah. building some I cool stuff here. That. Yeah. All right. Well. Um, I think we finally come to the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've, I've got more, but they're not here, so we'll get about them once. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, another day, another yeah, yeah. day. Yeah, no, that's it. All right, mate. Well, look, thanks so much for talking to us here at Aussie Garage, man. Yeah. I really um, appreciate it. I appreciate you guys coming down. Yeah, well, and we always appreciate people opening yeah. up their their sheds and their um, you know, their car collections to us. Yeah. So, no. so that is awesome. Thank you so much, yeah. mate. Thank you. And uh, remember, guys, Yanni's Garage. Get onto it. Have a look. You. <laughs> You'll see, you'll see these, what he's put up there already. And, all right, guys, so don't forget to get down to aussiegaragetv.com.au and check out our merch. We've only got a couple of shirts out at the moment. We've got some bucket hats. We've got some truckers hats and um, some stubby holders and bits and pieces there as well. So jump on, have a look, and if you could support our channel, we would really, really appreciate it.